Kutaro survived the most laduous of tasks. A gauntlet of tummy aches and toothaches. After fasting as fast as feasible, he made his way to the graveyard to find the mayor, and hopefully a key to the stolen moonstone pieces. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Before his stint as a scientist, General Monkey was a brilliant mime who made everyone laugh. But being laughed at always rubbed him the wrong way. Determined to better himself, he studied hard and used his evil inventions to get in the Moon Bear King's good graces. His piece of the Moonstone made him the smartest creature around. Smart enough to build Castle Grizzlestein, and smart enough to turn Halloween Veal's pumpkins into wickedly tempting snacks. Now, within his laboratory in the haunted house, he was combining Kutaro's seven Moonstone shards with the one that General Dog already had to create an abomination unlike any the Moon had ever seen. You know, moon folk used to flock to Halloween Veal just for the thrill of it. Of course, once the Moon Bear King rose to power and real terror took hold, tourism took a nasty, nasty plunge. The ghost town turned into a... well, you know. Huh? You see? This place isn't so scary. Now, how exactly are we supposed to get in? Oh, mister? Hey, mister, could you unlock the gate for us? Ah! It... it's open. Here they were, in the scariest corner of the scariest part of the moon. Fortunately, not even the most horrible of deaths could deter brave Kutaro from his search for the mayor. After you! Yes, Kutaro mustered all his courage and faced the dangers ahead. <clears throat> I say, Kutaro summoned all his courage because if he didn't find the mayor and get the key to the haunted mansion, the Moonstone Shards would be lost forever. Clearly, Kutaro needed a little persuasion. Oh, get your hiney in gear, you chicken! Dauntlessly, You're which means not, not in a scared no. way, Kutaro strode into the graveyard as an owl's plaintive whoos issued from the gnarled and eerie tree. Someone had Finally, dug unpleasantly a little left. Oh my gosh, it! We're not alone. We're not alone.
then, in a cruel trick of hyperbole, Kutaro found his way blocked by a coffin of epic proportions. Yeesh! Let's leave this one shut. Oops! Darn! Guess the coffin... Ah! Ah! Just that! Okay, a lot of that! What? Did they live in there? It's no good! You've got to slam from higher up! to drag Kutaro straight into the dark depths. Oh, nasty! Who's that kid? It was one of the three types Kutaro met back in the Black Castle's kitchen. transformed into a swirl of darkness and effortlessly dodged Kutaro's attacks. Then, suddenly, a ray of sunlight bounced off the earth and pierced through the dark clouds above. Of course! Light! Dark things hate the light! Think you can find some way to bounce it at him? Now we can take it down! A cloud of bats swelling overhead swooped down and transformed into a horrible wheel. Reaper Weaver swung his deadly side, but Kutaro wasn't ready to give up the ghost just yet. Bravely, he fought back, using the might shield to douse the fiend in Earth's holy light.
Lord of Death used his wicked powers to block the light pouring in from Earth. With a macabre monster vanquished and the graveyard conquered, Kutaro was ready to continue his search for the mayor. Missed you, Susan. Don't call me that. My name is Nebula. Silly girl. Daddy knows what he named you. Susan's a wonderful name. No, Susan is so plebeian. You can call this earthly vessel, but you can never name my soul. My name is Nebula. Nebula of Langara. Wanderer of the cosmos. <laughs> I think we need to look into cancelling your library card. Susan! Susan! Stop it! Kutaro's efforts had galvanized the ghosts of Halloween Veal, and now they rose as one. Armed with torches, they closed in on the haunted house, determined to have the monkey's head. Kill the monkey! Smash his head! Drink his blood! To us now. Let's go, Kataro! And so our Kutaro was left to face Monkey's machinations alone. He's not alone. Some might say the mayor's eldritch former estate made the perfect evil laboratory for General Monkey. The more he settled in, the more unsettling the place got. So, um, how do we get in? Huh? The front door. Say, the mayor's eldritch former estate oh, made the perfect evil laboratory for General Monkey. The more he settled in, the more That's unsettling the place got. There There's gotta be a way in. Monkey's sinister inventions patrolled every corner of the premises. The general trusted no one and operated all of these creations himself. So our hero, Kutaro, set about slicing apart the evil General Monkey's laboratory like so much paper. Removing this blight on the town was a just act, motivated by justice just begun. With the last of its supports gone, 
the fourth story came crashing down. They're after You okay there, Robo Chief? You don't look so hot. Evil monkey's abode has been demolished. Monkey's gotta be in here. I can feel it. Ready for anything, the savior of Halloween Eagle stepped into the heart of the laboratory. Show yourself, monkey! Give us back those moonstone shards you stole! <laughs> but they are right in front of you, my dear. What? <laughs> You will help me test my new bodacious experiment! General Robodog! Destroy Kotaro! <laughs> Acknowledged! Battery pen melted! General Dog? What happened to him? Go, go, Robo Dog! <laughs> General Monkey has augmented all of my primary functions. Discharge ready! Commencing discharge!
activated! Energy low. Flight run. We'll start activating launch. Rocket punch. Fire. had been tamed, and Kutaro was one moonstone shard the richer, but Monkey had slipped right through their fingers again. As for the consequences, well, how could Kutaro know? He was just a puppet, not the one pulling the strings. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound. <laughs>